Okay, YouTube. So I'm making this video to show um, basically just how high of levels of RF radiation um, are in our homes and um, basically a way that you can protect yourself from it. So this was the highest part that I could find in my home. Uh, it so happens to be in the bathtub, but uh, I'm getting readings as strong as 15,000, 16, 18,000. And um, you know, keep in mind, anything over a thousand is um, extreme and uh, causes cancer and all kinds of problems. And um, you know, there are so many hidden dangers in life that nobody really pays any mind to. But basically, this is uh, RF radiation, and uh, it's produced from Wi-Fi signals, smart meters. Um, it's basically produced from um, all different wireless devices that send signals through the air and that goes through our bodies and actually heats up our organs so you can see how extreme this is I'm getting over 2,000 um, there's 2,000 there for a second you know so let's walk around and you'll see as you go to different areas of my home the areas go down so you can see just walking that far away the levels have gone from in the thousands to down to about uh, 230 or so so that's pretty amazing um, we'll keep walking here so now we're about five eight you can just see it's all over the place it depends on where you go but here this is this is what I wanted to basically show so this is a room that I sleep in and um, it looks pretty space age and um, you see I cut a hole for my air vent and this is Reflectix um, material and um, basically it uh, reflects all RF radiation so um, it reflects smart meters everything so um, basically there's none you can see I even did the inside of the closet up inside of there so uh, I, I blocked out the room as much as possible the only thing that's left open is that air vent and, and it does look pretty crazy but uh, this is called Reflectix this is a 4x8 sheet 2 inch sheet insulation and it has the aluminum siding on the other side of it but anyway I slide this back and forth as you can see let me back up uh, basically that's the door so I slide that and then you can see that that exposes the door handle so I'm able to get in out of the room but this gives me the ability to to uh, block out the room and what I've essentially have created in here is the farm um, so this is a farm like environment meaning that uh, you're not being exposed to any more RF radiation because I've blocked it all out so let's take a good look at our meter here so we went from being at any given moment in the up to 2000 now keep in mind this meter only picks up 0 to 3.5 gigahertz and the spectrum goes all the way to 10 gigahertz so um, the smart meters actually give off a signal that this meter won't pick up so because uh, they're running at like 7 and 8 gigahertz but um, you can clearly see that it's dropped down to like 5.3 so you know I went from being out of this room to being minimum four five six seven eight nine hundred two thousand and uh, if I was to block out the rest of it then I would actually drop down to zero now I live in a single story home so you know this is effective for a single story for a two story it wouldn't work because um, your floor would have to be covered and I don't know how you'd go about doing that but basically what I've done is I've create, created a tent inside this room um, by uh, just covering the walls and uh, this comes in rolls it's called Reflectix and uh, it's just double sided aluminum um, and uh, bubble wrap and I put it together with uh, drywall screws to hold it on the ceiling and then I just came back with Reflectix tape and covered the drywall holes and then I just taped it up along the walls. It cost me a couple hundred dollars but as you can see I have created a, a much 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 safer healthier environment so at least when I'm sleeping at night I'm not being bombarded by all the RF in the air because ultimately your body never gets a break from it and uh, you know the course of time um, with your body not being able to really recover um, because it's never in a situation where it's not being bombarded by all that RF um, 
it uh, can be catastrophic on our health, especially considering that the 4G has only been out for a few years and ultimately all these wireless devices have only been out for 15 or 20 years and God knows only what the long-term ramifications of all these devices are. So uh, this just goes to show you this is a very effective means um, of uh, protecting yourself um, from the RF. Um, people that have a lot of money, they'll actually put this material uh, behind the drywall so you don't even see it. Um, but um, it, 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 you can see it's very effective, so you know that it works. I mean, you can see I'm chilling like 4.7, so that's great. And you can also see that I don't have a TV or anything in this room. So I come in here, I just sleep in this room. That's the thing I do. And um, it also uh, keeps uh, the sun out and uh, keeps it nice and dark during the day, so it makes it easier for me to sleep. But um, I just wanted to get this information out there. Also, you can build a very, very effective smart meter, sh smart meter shield if uh, you're being bombarded and you're living on a wall that has five or six smart meters uh, on the back wall. Uh, you can take this piece of insulation, this 4 by 8 sheet, and you can actually uh, wrap it in wax paper. And um, then you cover it with this bubble wrap here. And uh, this they sell all this at Home Depot, and it's all in the building material. And uh, anyway, you cover that with the wax paper and then come back with this and then use the Reflectix tape, which is just, they sell the tape and it looks just like this material. But anyway, that's a very effective smart meter shield. I had that in my garage because on the back side of my garage is my smart meter. And uh, I, I took just, uh, I still have it. But uh, anyway, um, it, it's very effective and uh, it, it blocks out um, the RF that's being transmitted from your home from the smart meter. So um, it doesn't uh, fix the uh, EMF problem. Uh, you have a lot of problems with EMF and it's electric magnetic fields that are being conducted throughout the wiring of your home. So if you sleep next to a wall, for instance, right here, and you have a smart meter, um, you can be bombarded by um, EMF. And I, I was having EMF as high as, high as um, I don't know, five or six times the healthy limit. I think I was getting readings of like 2.25. And... Um, really anything over 0.25 is considered harmful so just be wise that uh, you know your walls could be potentially harmful as well if you have a smart meter in your home so you want to put your bed in the center of the room and have your body in the center where you're as far away from the walls as you can be because the further you get away the better off you're going to be from it so um, that's just word to the wise you can get an EMF meter off of eBay they're not very expensive I paid like forty dollars for mine but um, ultimately that's one of the reasons why you don't want to have any electrical devices in a room that you sleep um, just because you can be affected by those devices. So, um, anyway, uh, that wraps this up. So, at least you know that uh, this is very effective. And uh, just, just let me open this door here, that there, and show you just by sliding this, this much RF comes in the room. So, I went from 8 to um, about 100, 75 to 100. And, and, and that's just from. Uh, opening that door and you see the closer I go to the door the higher the levels go you see I'm showing about a hundred and two hundred and eleven hundred and sixty six hundred ninety two hundred so that just goes to show you that just opening up this door right here um, you know increase the RF tremendously so if you're going to uh, put this stuff up in a room you have to cover the whole room including the ceiling because if you don't then you can see it doesn't work because if you have one little area that's open you're still allowing the RF signals to be transmitted and also cell phones do not work in here and um, nothing works wirelessly I, I can't have a radio in here or anything because it doesn't have a way to get signal so um, just uh, good stuff to know but um, that wraps this up. Just so you know, I had to get this device. I had to order it from outside of the United States on eBay. I tried to find a device locally but was unable to. So, um, yeah, pretty amazing. All right, well, that wraps this up. Let me know your thoughts.